Oh, hello. I'm Fox Trotsky from Rock and Roll Oil Paintings, Nancy Vandal. I've just finished pleasuring a lucky lady as part of our current rock and roll tour, which is gradually coming to an end. In this episode, you can catch the final moments, and you're not going to believe it, we're rocking harder than ever before. Do you ever shut up? Don't worry, it's alright. I'll be coming on to see you tonight. The final leg of the Friends of Ron Boys Are Back in Brown tour saw us playing at the Metro in Sydney and the grand old lady didn't let us down. Aside from a notable exception, the home crowd was a ripper and happy to help us out with some of our sing-along classics. After the show, we headed to Jay and Lolly's Bohemian Inner West Bat Cave, where I was frankly disgusted by Jay's appalling public display of his seedy pornography collection. He hates women. Why do you hate women? Why do I hate women? Yeah. I don't hate women, I only hate old fashioned women. Yeah. Or women from the 1890s. Yeah. It's quite clear your attitude towards women. And Lauren, you know, you've put a lot of makeup on those bruised eyes since we got here. Since Jason didn't have his dinner made. This is not, that's enough. That's enough. All, right. All I want to know is. <laughs> <laughs> they're real women's asses. Yeah, that's what they're yeah. supposed to look like. That's what we like. Yeah, so like yeah. these ones. <laughs> check that out. Check that out. Check that shit. <laughs> that's it. I'm checking that shit. I'm liking what I see. Real women. That's it. Julian and I in our yeah. you know, previous life. Yeah. yeah. In our previous vocation. That's you. Three <laughs> children. Yeah. Can you put a safety on all of this? <laughs> It was a fucking arc of... was it? Yeah. And they were, and they were all, as I said, all, all shapes different. and sizes. And, 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 and all they... different, but with like a common a common bond. And Me. That you draw them up together. But they didn't know each other. I was going, oh! Yeah. Oh! oh. Fat guy. Oh. Meet tall guy. Short guy. I bridge gaps. Party obligations met, we made our first ever visit to Perth, where we took the opportunity to conduct a scientifically valid sex experiment. Jilly Pepper. Hello. She's a woman. I am. She knows what, what works, what gets a motor running. $2 is all that's needed. Yeah. We're going to conduct a scientific experiment to see if the wipe on sex appeal um, containing pheromones, use responsibly, will we do that? Yes. Um, if it works, here, go ahead. Ready? Drop the shit. I'm not sure. Yes. A pheromone aroma can be relied upon to achieve unfair social advantages. Okay, let's have a look at our subjects. So, Tommy Lee Turner and JJ the Who should we do? I think Dane should, because I don't want to wipe them, because I'll obviously be fighting off chicks all night. But would, you, would you be fighting them off anyway? Normally, yeah, so it's an unfair advantage I already have. Okay, well, you put it on my collar. I'll take anything. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? Is it a gel or a No, it's a... It's, it's a, a KFC. Oh, it's a towelette. KFC towelette. Do the KFC ones have the same yeah, chick the pulling same powers? Ooh. Subject A. Okay. And a little bit around the neck. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look the colour of it. <laughs> it's coming out brown. <laughs> We'll reveal the findings later. Meanwhile, Tommy Lee Turnip and Gordy were hitting each other in the genitals. Oh, 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 oh. You both got some fucking good shots in there, that's what I liked. No, he got me right on that, you know, that sweet spot. Walter! I believe it's called. Oh, well. Oh! Like that. That was a nut. So this is this is how you assess each other's work in the fucking world of percussion. This is how percussionists fucking talk about. Yeah, this is how the big guns do it. Like Terry Bozio, um, yeah, Mike Noise, yeah, Eric, swing down this round. And so the night continued until the moment the scientific community was waiting for, the results of Project Sex Towelette.
The science community is still scratching its collective head. Got some more left in here, big guy. Three more shows. Jesus, we're scrapping what was the battle already. Mm. Three weeks. Yeah, you days. certainly are. Look at that head. My God. Oh, that would be coffee. <laughs> oh, oh yes, Colombian blend. Brown rocks. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There we Straight go. And then we just <laughs> line it up with the cash. Yeah, nice. Look at that. What the band credit card? We should do it with that. Yeah, I mean, you did that so easily. Yeah. <laughs> After Perth, it was back east for a final flurry of shows, and Project Phoenix hit the jackpot, scoring an exclusive interview with ex Nancy Vandal bassist Jason Jason Beers. Um, a colleague of mine recently said that he stopped listening to Nancy Vandal when I joined because um, they became just another punk band. Oh, right. Yeah. So what were you before that? Not uh, even a... No, you were a very, very special punk band at that point. Special needs yeah. punk band, yeah, okay. Had very big shoes to fill. Um, Marcus Rolf Rolf is mm -hmm. like a size 14. Mm -hmm. um, he was a very, um, very popular member of the group. And when he left, um, you know, I, I thought that it was going to be smooth sailing, um, that it was, I was proved very wrong, um, having things constantly thrown at me, spat yeah. at. Um, over and over again. And that was just on stage, then there was the fans that could Yeah, play. yeah, the people picked on me uh, inside and outside the band. Um, <laughs> Sorry for spitting on you, I didn't That's okay. <laughs> I thought it was punk rock. <laughs> I thought you were punk rock, to be honest. You were wrong. I was wrong. I mean, you two were what's known as the engine room in um, musical sort of uh, science. Yes. How would you compare the various engine rooms that you've been a part of? Um, <laughs> They're all fairly uh, stuttering, you know, like out of eight, maybe three cylinders. Could, could you liken them? <laughs> could you liken them all to a vehicle? What was the Jason? Uh, well, he was a, he was like a, he was like a souped up four four um, four cylinder. You know, you like your little uh, uh, souped up. Yeah, souped up. That's, pre that's pretty cool. Souped up indeed. Where Jade is, you know, I'm all your lazy fucking six. You know. What about roll? It's a bicycle. <laughs> Not like a burning car. <laughs> <laughs> why? Since um, I let you join my band, why didn't you let me join your band? Because you can't do it. <laughs> Musically, you're a great guy, but in my band, you yeah. have just a small, not a huge level. Like, like, you don't have to be a virtuoso. Right. You just have to be able to do Competent. what you say you're going to do. If you say you're a guitarist, you have to play the guitar. If you say you're a singer, you have right. to be able to sing. <laughs> right, fuck. Obviously, obviously, La Band, those kind of archaic rules yeah, yeah. don't work, you know. I, I was kind of on the impression that you let any fuckwit join. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh and hurtful comments, Jay. But may I offer an alternative view from some certain someones you may just have lost touch with? I'm talking about the kids. I found the Nancy Battle latest show to be an exquisite page. Breathtakingly complex, but within its complexity, strangely shallow and one-dimensional. And yet... You are my favourite rock star of all time. If, oh my God. Jesus Christ. Fuck runs are wrong. I'm here to see Nancy Vandal. Yeah! You guys are awesome! <laughs> We hope that, you know, you'll do it again, later in the year, whatever, you know, we don't mind. It's, Endlessly. It's, yeah, just, just keep doing it, please, because we just, we can't live without you. This powerful, unrehearsed testimony, combined with Frenzel's embarrassing drop in popularity, forced Jay to put aside his not inconsiderable jealousy and follow the only sensible course of action. He rejoined the Nancy Vandal juggernaut. So did Lindsay. We'll see you when the Juggernaut continues later this year. Until then, keep on trucking. Question again. The question is, say Joe Elliott.